Hey guys, welcome back to Wildcraft. Next time off here, we are alone on the server right now, so I shouldn't have any interruptions. I wanted to show you what I did with my chicken farm, how I made not the like the automated cooking farm, but the actual like egg laying side of it. <laughs> I have tons and tons of chests full of eggs because of this little contraption. And what it is um, up here. I have inside the wall here, I have like a, a little tiny automated chicken gun. So what you do is you'll spawn like a couple, like not too many, you only need like two, three at the most chickens up here. Uh, you might need to restock it every once in a while because some servers have it so that uh, like your mobs despawn and I think part of the MC MMO thing that we use on here it actually does that too it makes them despawn after a while and drops their meat and their feathers and stuff like that um, and I'll show you how to make that but on the other side what I wanted to show you is this is where it comes out of it shoots here hits this block spawns more chickens so you end up with a ton of chickens in here they lay eggs the dispensers take them down oh wrong spot <laughs> the dispensers take them down and if I can do what I'm doing here uh, we'll take them down here I have it all like covered up because it was looking pretty ugly and if you don't cover it up a certain way sometimes the chickens will actually glitch through the hoppers and end up down here and I had a bit of a mess down in there they kept going inside my friggin um, enchantment table thingy that I got there um, so what it does is uh, it's not connected to that one, but what it does is it'll drop the chicken eggs down into here and Like all the other stuff that eventually happens To drop or when they die or whatever if you kill them, so it'll spit again. It'll spit them from here Into the bottom area they'll lay eggs They'll drop down into chests and that's pretty much it and this is how it looks. This is how you make it um First off, you'll need two trap doors, two carpets, four hoppers, one, one dispenser, and building blocks are a necessity here, unfortunately, because again, when they spawn in here, they eventually, sometimes they'll spawn through and drop out. You don't have to worry about the bottom because you have the... Um, comparator and you have the repeater there so it kind of stops them from glitching into that block because technically this is a block too in a way or an entity anyways so first things first we need to copy this design okay so let's come down here actually let's do it up here because there's a lot more space up here and it's easier to show you how far it actually shoots so let's get rid of this stupid snow First things first, you'll need a repeater here, repeater here, uh, I think compar wait, needs to go that way, no, <laughs> I am not paying attention to this, okay, and then you need redstone coming around, like that, you'll need the dispenser here, so it's, it's pretty standard way of doing this, um, next thing is, you'll definitely need a block right beside it because if you don't, it won't have the signal going through. And I believe the repeater needs to be this way. And just let me double check that. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So I would have had it the wrong way. So you need repeater, redstone, repeater facing that way, comparator facing into that repeater. And then now you need your dispensers or hoppers, sorry. So you go like this, go like that. And if you want, you can have an extra one up here so that if you go down, you take some like uh, eggs out of a chest, you can actually have a chest right here, side like that, or either way, it doesn't really matter. You can have just a solid one. You can put one thing in. Let's copy that and you can go like that. And it starts taking it out and it'll start spitting it. Oh, I didn't put a block beside this, why it's not spinning it. So let's go with 
filled with uh, some acacia wood. And there you go, see? And that's how it's made. And then all you need to do is just box the rest of it in. Let's take that out so it stops spitting it. There. And if you want, you can actually place a lever right there and it'll actually turn it off. So you don't have to worry about it constantly going. Uh, I'll show you right in a sec there. See, that'll go down into here, uh, into there, and it turns it off. You just turn it back on, it'll start spitting the stuff out again. <coughs> so, and then all you need to do after that is you just box it off. Uh, one thing that you'll need is half slabs because they work the best with the top. So just go like this. You want to make sure that you block this oh, this spot off here too and go like this because if you want it to drop down instead of firing across the friggin map then you have to have a block for it to hit. Uh, build up another level up one and then grab some half slabs. Doesn't matter what half half slabs obviously. Like that. Place your carpet. And there you go. Now that's one ugly looking hopper or chicken gun. But it works. And then all you need to do is have your hoppers or fenced off area and hoppers underneath, and that's how you'll be collecting your chicken eggs. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me through comments on my video. Make sure you hit the like, favorite, and subscribe buttons because I am releasing tons more tutorials. Um, I've seen this done before. I'm not sure if I've seen it in this manner, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's the chicken gun. So hope you guys had a, have an awesome day and see you next time.